20th anniversary, we wanted to come out and um, reach, reach our customer base, say thank you, um, and yeah, give to you. Today is all about you guys. Um, I want you to leave today having got everything that you can out of today. So we're showing you new products, talking about the future of what our vision is for KBB Retail, and allowing you to turn up on any areas of training that you require. Melvin Davis, uh, Managing Director of Classic Tiles and Bathrooms from Cranbrook in Kent. Uh, I've come up for the opening here today at Gebrit, uh, along with yourselves, uh, and I've had a very, very interesting and fruitful day. I'd used Virtual Worlds, I'm um, going back about six years. There was a break for one reason or another. Now I've come back in, I just remembered how good the product was originally, and uh, didn't need to look too far anywhere else, but the improvements I just think it's been astonishing. On the design technology side, the, uh, the theatre uh, down there is absolutely amazing. Um, I saw, first of all, uh, a few years ago, I saw your uh, 3D showroom um, before it became the theatre. Uh, and I did think it was a bit sort of old school, Atari-like. Um, but now seeing it in the theatre mode, it's just ticked all the boxes. And I think that it's the real-time rendering that is what has really brought it to the front, um, where you get the reflections, the mirrors, etc. And then being able to go from this is your budget bathroom to here it is and the whole world changes around you and you see your luxury bathroom, yeah I can see that working really well. It's really good, I mean obviously a customer from just looking at a screen they can get an idea of what the bathroom looks like but from the virtual world they can step into their own bathroom, it's more realistic, you get a feel of sizing and everything like that which they wouldn't be able to from a computer screen really. It was good when um, when you kind of upgraded the product, yeah. so you, you could see, see the, the difference. Difference, because if somebody's kind of got the headset on and they've got like the lower spec products, and then you put the high spec products on, you'd be like, "Whoa, I could have this!" Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it is really, really good. It's been a good day. I mainly came to see the Jebberit furniture really, because we've not seen any of that other than the brochures, and then obviously have a go on the the 4D as well, proper go, because we we saw it at KBB, we didn't did, we? Yeah. But didn't really have a play on it then, so nice to do it. I really liked it and I think for kitchens it's a no-brainer really. I'm still not sure if there's enough space in the bathroom to really get the most of, of actually using it. I, I thought it was fantastic. It was really, it was like really surreal. It was really like amazing because yeah. you don't actually think it's going to be that different until you actually put the headset on yourself because you can hear what people say about yeah, it. Yeah I didn't imagine it would, to be like that. No and so it's actually good to see something in a situation there right in front of you rather than having to just imagine it. Yeah, well, I think so, that would be good if you if you wanted a new bathroom to be able to see it in front of yeah. you before it's, you buy something. Yeah, it's a good convincer. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. The 4D scenario was um, enlightening. I, mean, I thought it was a little uh, strange at first, no more than strange, but uh, you know, once you buy into it and you suddenly realise it's not a game, it was there to provide um, an amazing graphical experience, which it it delivered on. Uh, there was some other experiences with the um, the holograms which I found quite entertaining at this stage but you know the, the future, the potential of this in the future is just extraordinary so yeah I, I think I had a little foot into what's what's coming down the road so that was really useful. Well, rather than having to take individual measurements it just it scans the whole room and all the surfaces and everything. Or mapped out, or mapped out, yeah, reading map. The idea that you can, um, within your showroom, or, or probably more so within the customer's actual bathroom, that you can map that bathroom and then you can place items over the top of. So literally, your basin, their basin is no longer there, and this other basin is there, but it's still in, within that environment and still feels so lifelike, etc. It's, uh, it's very clever. It's going to take a while for people to get their head around the fact that it's not just a novelty and that it really has got a practical use. And I think once people um, you know, get their heads around that and talk to other people that there is genuine serious benefits to this that have you know, helped them make their decisions so that they've got the right bathrooms, I think people like ourselves that are in the trade will see the benefits from it and I think those two paths will very much you know, break off, you'll have your, your, your kids playing at home on the games and, you, and then your family's going out having, well certainly having fun with this, but making informed decisions as well.